Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. Shalom. <clears throat> I just want to share something with you. A uh, revelation. A revelation knowledge. Revelation wisdom. Something that the Spirit put on me. And I've been aware of it for quite some time. So I just felt like sharing it with the family. Um, we're in Philippians chapter 4, starting at the 6th verse. Be careful for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your re request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Word of God. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. I wanted to share this because this has been something that I have been meditating on. Um, a lot of times we go through challenges in our lives, be it at work, be it with our families, friends, strangers, neighbors. And sometimes you can get anxious. You can get anxious because people want to intimidate you. They want you to feel as though they somehow are above you. But as long as you know that the Most High God, if you're giving God the honor, the praise, and the glory, there is no one above you. There may be different people that are good in different lines and different positions, but so are you. So be anxious for nothing. What does that mean? When you start getting nervous, remember what the word says. Be anxious for nothing but through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. That thanksgiving is your acceptable sacrifice unto God. When the praise go up, the blessings come down. So remember, you thank God. And when you're thanking him, don't try to understand how God's going to work it out. When he keeps your mind and your heart through Christ Jesus in that perfect peace. Peace that transcends all understanding. Here's something I found out. Sometimes we wait for the storm, for God to remove the storm, for the Most High to remove the storm. But God's thoughts, God's ways are so deep, so strong. He will give us peace in the midst of the storm. He will bring us above the storm, give us the eyes of an eagle. We'll fly above it, be able to pinpoint all those things that create the elements of the storm, recognizing the storm has no power over us. Even people that for years have intimidated us and affected us in some negative manner remember be anxious for nothing but through prayer and supplication giving thanks to God he will keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach who is Christ Jesus the Word of God okay when we make our request known unto God He'll give us peace beyond anything we could ever hope or imagine, beyond our understanding. Peace in the midst of the storm. And remember Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You can be in the exact same situation. And when that word of God keeps your heart and mind, he changes your understanding, that revelation knowledge, that revelation wisdom. When you have peace, your, your understanding, your depth of knowledge becomes clearer. Okay, you start recognizing how small certain situations really are because they're working on a carnal level, but you're taking it to a spiritual level. Remember, the spiritual person understands the physical person, but the physical person cannot understand the spiritual one. So these are just experiences I've been going through and I kept meditating on it. A lot of times people will say things, do things to try to trigger negative responses, not just just verbally, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally inside of you. But remember the rest of the word. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are lovely, if there be any virtue, whatsoever things are of a good report, think on those things because the enemy will try to attack your mind and your emotions. 
So, brothers and sisters, I just want to give you a word of encouragement. One of the things that the Spirit was teaching me is I will keep you in the midst of the storm. It's not always that God removes the storm because we're learning, we're growing, we're moving from victory to victory, glory to glory. He teaches us that he will take us above the storm, through the storm, make us understand it, being in it, out of it, but never of it. And those things that create the storm are so minute, so small. And remember, anybody that touches the anointed child of God, it's as though they touched the very apple of his eye. They touched God himself, and God will repay. I've seen enemies, when God went after them, the way you actually pity them. You actually start praying for them. You actually start asking for mercy. But one of the things we need to do, and we go through different situations because the Spirit is taking us from victory to victory. We have different challenges, different circumstances. Sometimes it's with your family. It's never where we get to this plateau and just level off because God is growing us. And remember, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not on thine own understanding. Sometimes we try to figure this situation out. But God's ways are not like our ways. His thoughts are not like our thoughts. But because God is a revelator and we are children of revelations, we are children of the light. God is a God of light. What is that? Illumination. We are children of illumination. That still small voice will speak to you if you're ear. You ask God, give me revelation knowledge, revelation wisdom. Give me the understanding, God, and let me trust in you. Increase my faith. I just want you to be encouraged, brothers and sisters. Remember, through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, we have to thank God. Even when we don't understand it, it's all right that we don't understand it. We're not God. His thoughts aren't like our thoughts. His ways aren't like our ways. But we trust in him. We have trusted in people that, the, the Lord have mercy, we knew we shouldn't have trusted in them. Here's where it get deep. We've trusted in ourselves and let ourselves down. So I'm not trusting in flesh, but I know for a certainty we can trust in the Most High and He will bring it to pass. So I'm just sending somebody a word of encouragement through prayer. Be careful for nothing. What does that mean? Being anxious, stressing out. You know something I learned? I can be in a bad situation. And I'm like, okay, I can feel bad. It's not going to change it till it changes. Or I can recognize God's in the midst of it. He's in the midst of it. And he's resting in his love. He's joying over us. And when I realize that God is there and I've done all I can do and I've committed my way and my journey unto the most high and I trust in him. And I tell him, forgive me if I don't understand everything that's going on, but I know he understands OK, I be, you be careful for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. You have some people, they just want to throw you off your square because it's funny to them. But that's OK. When they're laughing at you, God's laughing at them because he knows the end of the matter. He knows the beginning, the middle and the end of the matter. So once again, you be encouraged. And remember, be careful for nothing but through prayer, supplication and thanksgiving. It is your honorable service to God. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is our um, sacrifice to God. It's our sacrifice. Okay. I thank God every day because I know without him, I would go crazy in this world. As a matter of fact, he's the light of this world. He's the glory of this world because he's in it and we're in it and he's keeping us. Okay. So you walk in the light, you be encouraged and know that you are not alone and the victory is yours. Jesus won. Yeshua HaMashiach won. If the victory is his and we are his, then the victory is ours. Be blessed. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters. And remember, I'm going to repeat the word one more time. We're in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all 
understanding. If it passed all understanding, there's a peace that will come in the middle of the storm. Right in the middle, you're watching all hell break loose. A thousand may fall at thine hand, ten thousand at thy feet, but it shall not come nigh thee. You will simply witness the sinner's reward. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Let it be made known. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Remember, draw nigh unto me and I will draw nigh unto you. That's what the Most High said. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Who is Christ Jesus? You go to Revelations chapter 19. He is the word of God. Okay, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Because that negative atmosphere, that negative energy is always trying to absorb your positive energy. So if you wonder why you're going through all these strange things, don't think it's strange when these fiery trials come upon you. You're shining. You're shining. And those tears are trying to strangle out the weak. But no matter what happens, the weak is the weak. And the tears are the tears. You're not a goat. You're a sheep. And the Most High is with you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It won't work. You be encouraged. Shalom.